My name is Anton Maximovsky and I run a company called MotionPod. MotionPod is a creative services company that focuses on real-time graphics for television for broadcast. The core team of MotionPod started to work uh, in this field, in the field of uh, real-time graphics, in the very beginning of this industry. And by the industry I mean real-time 3D. Uh, High-end projects that involve real-time graphics for sports, augmented reality, virtual sets, and so on. Any given time, we work on projects for several clients. Our first project was Monday Night Football for ABC Sports. We, of course, do a lot of work for Spike TV, MLB Network, the largest Russian broadcaster in sports called uh, Match TV. And uh, in addition to this, we have large extensive packages for CNBC, collections packages for NBC News, ABC News, um, uh, all of the Canadian networks. And, uh, many, many customers in Europe as well. The first step is understanding what exactly our client is looking for, what is his background, who is his audience, what kind of information he's trying to relate to his viewers. And obviously, we we'll always uh, try to stay in touch with whatever is happening in the design business. We stay on top of things. It's really rewarding when you see that the message that your client is trying to send to his viewers has been exactly translated as he wants, meaning he, the, his viewers got the right information at the right time in a very beautiful design. Uh, we often sit down and do brainstorm sessions together, even whether it be a kickoff meeting with the client or just uh, an internal meeting with each other. We usually start with uh, conceptual mock-ups or sketches and then once we have something that we like, we run it by the client uh, for their approval. Once it's been approved, then we start uh, producing all of the different graphics and templates that are required in the project and these in turn will move into the production portion which is um, Avid. And uh, today we use um, uh, most advanced Avid tools like uh, for designer, like 3D Play, like Maestro, to decontrol. These are the, the main um, tools that we use in everyday work. And Avid's tools allow us the greatest flexibility in terms of translating our original designs built in Photoshop and 3D Max into the final product which is deployed on air. So the software is very intuitive. It's not like you need prior experience to work on it because it's so different from every other software out there. It really just presented itself in a way where you could understand it coming straight into it. This mock-ups and, and animated mock-ups is a first preliminary phase to the actual implementation uh, of the project. So you see you can place your studio virtually in uh, uh, another venue, uh, like could be in the middle of the stadium, uh, hockey arena, anything. Or you can make it look like expansion of a studio, that, like your studio is huge, enormous. On, or you can rebrand it very easily and quickly. This is the final result. This is the final result where you see the, uh, the virtual reality scene being output to this series of the video walls on one side, and then augmented reality scene uh, is working in, uh, in concert with this. Uh, all of this is connected uh, by this data, tracking data from a Jeep camera. This type of graphics can take over the focus of the company for several months sometimes. The work we focus on, the real-time graphics and augmented reality and virtual graphics is still a relatively young field. And it's a really powerful platform. Certain things that you can do with Avid tools, you cannot, just impossible to do with the, uh, with the competing tools that exist in the market right now. This platform is really uh, providing creative freedom for us.